In this video, I try and make a multiplayer first person shooter. Except, I've never made a game before, and I'm giving myself just a week to do it. So where do I even start? Alright, so we all know the concept of a multiplayer shooter. We have our player that we control, like Hello. this guy. But he's pretty useless on his own, so we give him a gun. Then I guess for a game to be multiplayer, there has to be other players. Then uh, I think you know what happens next. Well. So we know what it is, but how the f*** do I do that? Well, I started with making a player which I yoinked the Unreal Engine's third-person mannequin and just attached the camera to his head so we see everything from his view. And now we have our first-person player. But to other people, he still looks a little bit stiff. So I added some basic movement and animation to fix that up. Now he's looking a little bit better. But he's still a bit boring, so we need a new model for our character. Now, I wouldn't call myself a professional in character modeling, so I went online to steal, I mean, borrow someone else's. So I went onto Sketchfab to look for a skin and I found this soldier that I think looks pretty good. Now that we swapped out our character model with our new soldier, our player controller has everything it needs for a game. And that means our player is basically done. So what do we need now? Well a shooter game isn't that good without any weapons. So I guess we're going to have to start giving our players some guns. Alright so the first gun that I wanted to add was an assault rifle which I'm pretty sure we all know what an AR is. So like other assault rifles, I want the AR to be an overall good gun that does decent damage to the other players. Now, I haven't added a gun into a game before, so there was definitely some weird bugs along the way. Like this one, where the gun was just floating up in the air for some reason. Well, how'd you get up there? But once I got the bug sorted, the AR was looking pretty good, but there were still some things missing, so I added some visual effects to the gun to see when the bullet is fired and a gun firing sound effect so the other players can hear the shots. And with that, the assault rifle was pretty much done. And for the first gun that I've added to a game, I guess it looks pretty good. I'm kind of All right, it, it, it does the job. So with the first gun being added to the game, it was pretty easy to add the other guns because the majority of the work was already done. So the next gun that I added was the shotgun. Unlike the rifle having a long to medium range, the shotgun's range will be very short but will do a lot of damage to those close targets. So you definitely don't want the barrel of this gun in your face or... And that's pretty much it for the shotgun. But what other guns are there to add? Well, every game needs a sniper. The difference in this game is that snipers are only for trick shot. And if you get a kill that wasn't a sick trick shot, well, you just die. Now, is that an actual feature in this game? No, because I couldn't be fucked working out how to add that. But seriously, if you're sitting in a corner hardscoping like a little bitch, the other players aren't going to be the only ones coming after you. So adding the sniper was similar to the rifle and shotgun, except I added an extra overlay and a zoom for when the player scopes in, so the gun feels more like an actual sniper. And well, that's it for the sniper. So now we're up to the last gun that I wanted to add, a rocket. Because is it really a shooter game without that one loser running around the map with an RPG? So the rocket was made a little bit different from the other guns, because there's an actual projectile rocket that's coming out of the barrel of the gun. And when it hits any surface, well, it explodes. So the rocket took some extra time to add into the game, but I definitely think it was worth it to add some extra chaos to this game. And now that the RPG is in, we have all the guns added into the game. So now we can move on to make an actual map. Because the map that we're using at the moment, well, it looks like absolute... Now for the map, I decided to remake one of the best but also the worst maps in all of first person shooters, Shipment. So this map is known for being the smallest Call of Duty map, but also the most annoying and rage inducing map you've ever played. So it only makes sense to remake Shipment for my game. So to make the map, it really wasn't that hard. I mean, there's not a lot to the map except for some shipping containers, barrels and extras. So it didn't take very long to build. And of course all the models I stole online because I can't model for shit. So now this is the map when I put everything together. And I guess it looks pretty similar to the actual game. I mean, there's not a lot to shipment. It's, it's literally just a square. So it's not that hard to copy. And I reckon some could say it looks better than the actual shipment. What? Yeah, okay, no one's saying that. But it looks good enough. So now we have the map and our player. But where are the other players? Well, I guess it's time to make this into an actual multiplayer game. So the problem with adding multiplayer is there's so many guides and tutorials out there, but they're explaining it like I'm a fucking 10 year astrophysicist. But luckily I found a tutorial by this absolute legend that could dumb it down enough that I could understand. And now I could actually add in all the stuff to make this game multiplayer. And we can have multiple players in the game so they can actually fight each other. 
So here we have the game in split screen, so you can see the two different players. So at the moment when you're spawning, you can use whatever gun you want. And if you die, well you just respawn so you can get back into the fight. So each player has 100 health, but there's no way to see that at the moment. So I quickly added a HUD so you can see your health bar and now you know how close you are to dying. So I also added in an objective, so if you're in the certain area, you'll get points towards your score. But if you die or leave the area, your score will just go back down to zero. So I also added in some enemy AI that chase after the players. So if your friend goes AFK, we can still enjoy the game. So now we have the basics of every multiplayer first person shooter. So I think the game is pretty good where it's at now. Well actually there's only one map and the multiplayer hardly works plus only one game mode and no equipment like you can add some grenades and stuff. <laughs> Who knows what he was talking about. But if you do want to see me add more features and make this into a game that I actually release on Steam, well chuck us a sub and let us know what you would want added to this absolutely scuffed game. Because honestly, I'm just making it up as I go.